Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about super keyword in dart programming so guys super keyword is nothing but it is used to refer the immediate parent of a class so guys previously we have seen in the inheritance video that from a parent class we can create a child class and then inside a child class let's say we have another method for which it is also present in the parent class then whenever we create the child class then child's method will be created so we will see this in the example as well but but super keyword can be used in order to refer the parents method from a child's method so guys we will see this in the example as well the keyword can be used to refer the super class version of a variable property or a method so guys from a child class you can refer to the super classes variable property or a method and the same thing we will see with the help of examples and over here as you can see what we are having is we are having two classes that is class parent and then we have another class that is child which extends parent that means whatever properties of parents are present, present that is the variable name that is message and this m1 method will be inherited by this class that is child and it is also having its own method that is m1 but using this super keyword we can refer to the m1 of this parent class over here as you can see so when we call this super dot m1 with the 13 number so what it will do is it will call this m1 method and print the value of a over here and then similarly if we want to refer to this message variable in the parent class from the child class so we can refer to this using this super keyword as you can see super keyword followed by a dot so guys let us understand all this with the help of examples so let's say over here we have a class that is class animal and then let's say we have a variable name that is dog over here and then let's say we have a method over here void display which will display the name of the animal so we will do print the name of animal is and then instead of using this name variable what we will do is let's say we are passing the name over here in the display method as the animal name so guys we will use this animal name that is a parameter in the display method instead of using this variable name so i'll just copy this and paste this over here with the dollar sign so we have dollar animal name and guys let's say we have another class over here that is class and then let's say we have the name of the class as dog so guys this animal is the parent class and inside the animal we have a child class that is dog since dog is one of the animals that we can say and what we are going to do is we are going to extend the animal class so we have extends over here and then we can use the parent class that is animal and then inside the curly braces what we are going to have guys is we are going to have this display method over here and this display method we can just copy paste and then let's say we have dog name over here so we have dog name so we will print the name of dog over here is dog name copy and paste this over here so guys so far what we have done is we have a class animal which is a parent class and then it is having the variable name so if this is not having any data we can just remove the name from here since we are going to pass the parameter that is animal name over here so we have the display method as well which will print the name of the animal as the animal name and the same display method we have in the child class as well so this is a child class that extends the animal class over here and it will have the same properties that will it will have the variable name as well and the display method of the parent class but it is also having its own display method over here which it will print over here as you can see the name of dog and we are going to recognize in this way that the name of dog this refers to the dog class whereas the name of the animal this string refers to the parent class that is animal now guys let us try creating the object of this class that is dog class so i'll just copy this and use this class name over here so we have dog one it is equal to new and then the name of the class dog so it is not having any constructor which is taking any parameter so we are going to not pass any parameter over here but what we are going to do is we are going to call this method that is display with the dog name so guys what we are going to do is on the next line we use this object name that is dog one and then followed by dot and then 
we call this display method in order to print this statement so i'll put display over here but since display method over here is expecting a parameter so we are going to pass a parameter over here inside the brackets we have puppy as a dog name so semicolon so what we are doing is we are using this object that is dog1 of the child class and then calling the display method with the variable name and this string that is the name of dog is and then the parameter that we pass should be printed over here that is puppy so i'll just save this file and try running this code so i'll clear the screen so as you can see the name of dog is puppy and in this way the class inheritance and method overriding works which we have already seen previously now guys let us say we want to also print the name of the animal this particular string so what we can do is we can call this display method but how can we call this display method which belongs to the parent class from the child class so guys since we are calling this display method over here what i will do is i will just provide the super keyword and this is where we can use the super keyword in order to call the parents variable or method so what i will do is after the super keyword we have dot followed by the name of the method that we want to call so we have display we just copy this and then it is expecting a parameter that is the animal name so since the animal name over here it belongs to the category that is dog what i will provide is the animal name is dog and then we have semicolon and then i'll save this file and try running this code so as you can see the name of dog is puppy this is printed like previously over here and then when it comes to this line of code that is super dot display dog so what it will do is it will check what is the parent class so in this case it is animal and then it will check whether this parent class that is animal is having the display name which is being called over here so it is having the display name and it is also having the parameter so this dog is being passed and then the name of the animal is dog and the same thing that is the name of animal is dog is getting printed so guys we have seen that how we can call the parents method over here now how do we call the parents variable over here so as you can see we have the variable name so let's say we have the string that is this is animal name so let's say we want to print the string from the same method that is the child's method so what i will do is i will just provide a print statement over here print and then i just want to print this string so what i will do is i will just copy the name of the variable over here that is name but since it is in the parent class what we have to do is inside the dollar and curly braces we have to provide the super keyword since it is the parents variable followed by a dot and then we paste the name of the variable that is name and then we have the semicolon let's save this file and try running this code so as you can see apart from these two statements that is the name of the dog is puppy and then the name of the animal is dog that is from the parents class we have another string that is this is animal name and the same string we had assigned it to this variable over here that is this is animal name and guys in this way you can easily access the method using the super keyword and then the variable as well using the super keyword if you want to access this information from the parents class and you are present in the child class so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is dart objects and cascade operator in dart programming so stay tuned